Did you think they put a fence around that shit? Hello everyone. You might know who I am, but odds are you don't. I'm Mario Master DT. Welcome to Undertale. Uh, if you don't know what Undertale is by now, I don't know where you've been. <laughs> but it's it's wonderful. It's probably one of my favorite games I've ever played. And I say that about a lot of games, but this is hands down. Within the first ten minutes of playing it, I I couldn't stop. And it's just wonderful. <laughs> so, first off the bat, you saw in that intro that a human fell down a giant hole in the side of a mountain. And we need to name our fallen human. Uh, the first time I went through, the character looked like a girl to me. I actually know now that the, um, the character is... It actually has an ambiguous gender, which is why I'm saying it. But, uh, you can name it whatever you want. They are whoever you want them to be. Uh, when I named them my first time through, I thought the character was female, so I called them Bianca. So, I'll do that. Because I like that name. <laughs> and I think that's how I spelled it. Bianca. Yep, sure, why not? I'm just going to go with that because that's what I know. It doesn't matter that much. It doesn't really affect the story that much. But here we are in the world of Undertale. So controls, uh, control pad, and Z, X, and C. C opens your menu. We have nothing right now, so uh, don't even bother. <laughs> but here are our stats. This is Bianca. Level 1, 20, blah, blah, blah. Stick, bandage. All right, here we go. And we can continue on our way. Now, I have already played this game through to completion, so there are small differences that you can't avoid having done repeated playthroughs, and I'll try to remedy that um, as we get to them. I'll tell you what they usually say or something like that. Alright, so here's our first character. Howdy! I'm Flowey, Flowey the Flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. Or it could be completely wrong, it might be completely different, I don't know. <laughs> I did a true reset, so it might be fine. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but it can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are, are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Mm. Any good? You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die! Impossible. Kaizo traps. Oh. Our goat in shining armor. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Gotcha. So, basically, what we were just in was a battle. Uh, during battles, uh, things get to be kind of like a bullet hell. You dodge everything they throw at you to not die. Because if your HP drops to zero, like it said on the title screen, uh, you die. <laughs> As you might be able to, you know, ascertain from playing other video games and not being a complete moron. Allow me to educate you on the operation of these ruins. Showing us how to do puzzles. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Gotcha. So we got puzzles up the butt in this game, and they're all extremely fun. Plus, the soundtrack is fantastic. Like, I'm gonna buy it at some point. 
but I prefer the extended version on YouTube because the one you can buy is only um, couples like uh, they don't loop so so basically the puzzle she just solved actually has a hint even though you don't need to solve it only the fearless may proceed brave ones foolish ones both walk not the middle road so if you remember she hit both these buttons and these buttons so she didn't walk the ones in the middle Wait, what did you... Yeah, no, she hit these two buttons and these two buttons, because these are in the middle here. See, the the lighter stripe. Alright, so I got confused there for a second, because I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm kind of slow. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. See, this game doesn't hold your hand at all. That's what I like about it. Press Z to read signs. So we figured that out. So let's go read this sign. Stay on the path. Alright, sorry. Alright, so from here, I might need to walk through. The first switch is over there on the wall. Do you need some help? Press the switch on the wall. Come on, you can do it. Do you need some help? Oh, I was hoping she would do it for me, I'm so lazy. Alright, so there we got that one. And there we go, the spikes recede. Back to hell with the little bastards. Splendid, I'm proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you're in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation, and then when they're not looking, stab them in the back. Oh, that's... That'll be for another time. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Alright, hello, sir. So here we are, in our first, second fight, I guess. So we have all these different options. We have fight, which lets us launch an attack. Act, which we pick an enemy and then choose an option. See what it does. Items, you can use your items. Mercy, we will take care of that later, and I will show you what's up. But if we talk to the dummy, like Toriel was asking. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won. You earned nothing. Congrats. Ah, very good. You are very good. Thank you. I've been told this often. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. <laughs> All bets are off, uh, Toriel. Oh. And here we are in our first legit fight where we actually have a, a, a chance at winning. So we do exactly what she told us. Frog it. Check. Threat. Compliment. I'm going to give this little froggy a compliment. Frog it didn't understand what she said. It was flattered anyway. <laughs> I love her eyes. She gets so because her overworld sprite looks so nice and happy and just nurturing, and then she comes into battle and she looks like she's ready to kill. Like, please don't touch uh, the child. They are not part of the puzzle. And just in case you wanted to solve the puzzle, I'm sorry if you're disappointed, <laughs> but uh, this one's a bit too dangerous for us at this point in the game. You don't want to get insta KO'd, do you? It's not fun. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. But you can see I actually haven't come back here, but I guess you can uh, do the puzzle yourself. The puzzle, um, if you read the sign, which I neglected, it actually says the answer to the puzzle is the other room's blueprint. And there was actually a lighter patch of floor back there. You would just walk through that pattern exactly, but we don't need to worry about that because Toriel solves it for us. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is, this is treachery in the highest degree. I'm not actually even happy about this. <sighs> but, if we just do as she says, since she would never hurt, of us, hurt us after all, we just make it to the end of the room. Eventually. Don't worry, it doesn't loop. And we're back, but Toriel is right there. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. 
I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself and to go alone. I have an idea. Take this. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? Hello, this is Toriel. You must you have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them by yourself. Be good, all right? Yeah, all right. You're not my real mom. So now in our menu, we have a cell. So we can call Toriel and uh well, let's say hello. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then. Hello. <laughs> I hope that suffices. Wonderful. So, uh, let's, uh, tell us about yourself. This is Toriel. You want to know how more about me? Well, I'm afraid there is not much to say. I'm just a silly old, a silly lady who worries too much. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, let's, uh, let's flirt with her. Because <laughs> I'm getting kind of frisky. Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. I don't know about that. Uh, what happens if we do it again? Oh dear. Are you serious? I do not know if this is pathetic or endearing. Ouch, Toriel. <laughs> well, if you won't be, uh... You won't, uh, indulge in the flirtatious advances. This is Toriel. Huh? You just called me mom? Well, I suppose... Would that make you happy? To call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. So. That was an interesting exchange. So what do you have to say, sir? Oh. Ooh, we're whimsing. <laughs> so we can... Let's see, let's consult him. Because he looks kind of upset. Halfway through your first word, whimsing bursts into tears and runs away. You won. Although I feel terrible. <laughs> it's not like I attacked him, though. Let's talk to this frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Wise words from talking amphibians. Up here, we got some candy. It says, take one. Take a piece of candy. Yes, we'll take a piece of candy. So, that's our candy. <laughs> we can't take more than one. These are save points. Just, I think I used one earlier. I kind of forgot to mention it, but these are save points. Easy to find. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. So, there we go. We got our save point, and we can move on. And get... Get attacked again. Oh, frog had hopped close. So, you heard what they said. We should just battle through the fear until we actually are able to spare them. And hopefully we don't die in the process. So now, we can get rid of that. We took care of his feelings, and he's okay. So we can move on. Oh dear, whatever shall I do? 